revelation, something unknown, a mystery that was hidden, that is made known, a secret revealed, a prophetic word, revelation of God's holy word. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. Revelations. Today we have a really good teaching. Yeah, it's um, about the 144,000. Yeah. And it's kind we, of a we mystery. would like you guys to, to watch it until it will be done and that way you will understand this. Yes. It's, All right. It's a little, it's a little, it's probably different than you've heard before. Yeah. There's a lot of false doctrine out there and a lot of speculation. Mm -hmm. But this is this is all biblical, but it's going to it's probably for most of you it's going to be something new that you haven't heard before. So, yeah, and um it's, it's a great teaching. So, how are you guys? Our weeks is um pretty rough. We have uh Oh yeah. Um blustery day the yeah. other day and uh yeah. uh there's a post that went to our garage telephone pole it's a telephone pole it, it came down when the wind gusted and it smashed our garage but thank god he protects us yeah i thought someone was really upset and slamming a door and i was like you don't have to slam the door that loud and then inda i thought was well, something was going on too and then later on, I went outside and I looked and there's this big telephone pole laying on top of the corner of our garage. Yeah, so, it's good. At, it's just in the tip. But we had a we had a ALMP unhook the electricity and then we had another crew come out the next day and we pulled, pulled the pole down and cut it up into pieces and cleaned it up. And now I have to repair. <laughs> so... Well, sit back and with with us. But before that, we we'll yeah. have to uh, greet some of our friends and families that has, that has yep. birthdays, yep. and we will shout out some yep. brothers and of sisters, our brothers and sisters in yep. Christ. Amen. So, belated happy birthday to Hani Lynn Carnisi and to mm -hmm. Sister Harry. Zinco mm -hmm. and to my cousin Araceli Pascual. Oh, happy birthday, Happy sale. birthday. And um, to Ruth Pascual Casabuena, uh -huh. that would be uh -huh. August 21st. Oh, 21st. Yeah, and those are happy the birthdays. Birthday. And then we'll say hi to Davonti and Charity. Oh, hi, Davonti. Welcome son. back. Yeah. Yeah, they, they did some ministry in the Philippines. Are you back? Yeah. Are they back here, you know? Yes, they are back. Oh, okay. <laughs> you didn't know that? No. Oh. Yeah, I talked to Devante the other day. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's it's awesome. They did some ministry in the Philippines and That's good. very exciting. Yeah. And to Josephine Carnisi and my sister in law and to and to Sister Dina Silis in Canada. Hi. And to Brother Pat Otera in Kamote Cebu. And to all, uh, to Pastor Ray and Dahlia and, their, and the church in the yes. Wandang Church. God bless. Bayan. And to Chris and Emma. Kattis. Oh, hi, Chris. Emma. And um, to Sheila. Yeah. Mayor and Keith in Alabama. Yeah. Yeah, I know you're busy, Sheila. And thanks for the all the, the text. Oh. And then to Vivian and Mark. Hi in, Vivian. Hi Mark. Yeah, God bless. Washington. How are you guys? And to sister to, to Grace Catalong in South Carolina. Mm. And to Christine Mayer in Colorado. Oh. And to you can read that. Uh, Carla Cavanaugh. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks for sharing the video with all of your friends. Yeah. Thank and, you very much. And Fred, quick, we know that you share our video with lots of people. 
Mm -hmm. um, so God bless Fred yeah. and all the pastors in the Philippines. Yeah. God bless all of you over there. And uh, thanks for watching and sharing the video. Mm -hmm. And we just want to say thank you for everyone who subscribed. Yeah, thank and, you. And uh, if there's someone out watching this video, uh, check out the teaching and uh, share it. It's a great teaching. Mm -hmm. And uh, subscribe and uh, then the videos will come automatically. Yes. So God bless. Um, and yeah. do thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and stay with us for maybe how many minutes? Maybe um, 30 minutes or, okay, we'll start. Okay. So uh, the teaching today is 144,000. Who are they? And uh, I, I know over the years, that's probably been one of the number one questions I've gotten when talking about Revelation. And uh, for the longest time, I'm really, uh, people, people are saying all over the world that, uh, that they, that one group or another, that they are the 144,000. One of the groups that is very popular around the world for saying it is the 144,000 is the Jehovah Witness. Now, there's a problem with that. Because the Jehovah Witnesses, they're not, they're not Jews, okay? So, well, you, and, and the other part is uh, there are th over 3 million Jehovah Witnesses. Um, and that's a problem because uh, there's only supposed to be 144,000. Yeah, there are lots of, um, there are lots of, um, you know, teachings about who are these mm -hmm. 144,000. So, so and then sometimes we'll say, yeah, who are they? Are we? Are we? Are are we the church? The one hundred forty-four thousand. Even even speculation that yeah. the church, the the church is going to turn into the hundred and forty-four thousand during the tribulation. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and then then I know my friend, and my friend's uh, was married, and when his uh, wife divorced, she took the child and and they she actually got uh hooked up with a false religion which was a cult and they said they were one of the lost tribes of israel which is completely false because none of them were jews they weren't from any of the tribes and they weren't a lost tribe they were just another false cult that mm -hmm. were saying yeah, they that they, there in the Philippines they're too. the lost tribe. And there's so many false religions and false cults. There's some in the Philippines. Yeah. There's some in Korea. Uh, they're all over the world. And uh, even, even I think, uh, coming out of the Catholic Church, uh, they, they really um, try to say that, no, the Jews, the Jews aren't, uh, the Jews are not the ones that God god is concerned with anymore and and that's not true so um so we can we can we can find a dna test that can test if someone is has a jewish bloodline and uh also uh the of the hundred and forty four thousand in scripture it says that they're supposed to be virgins and that they're undefiled from women so that means that also means they're supposed to be men and so i was thinking about this if i'm a jehovah witness and i'm a woman you're a part of it uh how can i say i'm 144,000? uh i heard so if if somebody says that they're a jehovah witness and they're married uh it's not possible because the 144,000 are men that are undefiled from women okay and it also says that the 144,000 follow the lamb wherever he goes well where's the lamb right now he's he's in heaven that's Jesus Christ so um, you would have to go to heaven and and then come back so let's let's go into scripture so we can uh, prove it by the Word of God okay in Isaiah 53 7 it says he was 
oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and a sheep before her shears is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison from judgment, and who shall declare who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgression of my people he was stricken. Okay, so it says Jesus was cut off from the land of the living because we know he was crucified for our sins. And not only that, for the sins of Israel. Mm -hmm. Okay, for the Jews and the 12 tribes. So let's go into Matthew 2. Now Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod and the king. And behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and we are come to worship. And then Herod the king heard all these things and was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests, the scribes, the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, he pr pr privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go search diligently for the young child. When you have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. And that wasn't true. He didn't want to worship him. He wanted to find him and kill him. And when they had heard the king departed, lo, the star which saw in the east, they went before them, still to came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star... They rejoiced with exceeding joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Because... You, you, Herod was a murderer. Yeah, so the angel warned. And, and he he was he got he went into such wrath that if they returned, they might be murdered themselves. Okay, and they departed, and behold, the angel of the Lord appeareth to Joseph in a dream, saying, "Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring the word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him." See, he wants to kill him. And when he arose, he took the young mother, young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt mm -hmm. and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord of the prophets saying out of Egypt, I have called my son. And when then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, because he said, yeah, come back and tell me, and then didn't I come, back? come back and tell me where he is so I can worship him. And they're like, no way, we're not coming back to you. And so he was exceedingly wroth and sent forth and listen to this. And this is something that I didn't really focus on. And this is very important. He sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem. But not just Bethlehem. Mm -hmm. And in all the coast thereof. So from aside from Bethlehem. Yep. The, the coast. Yeah, so that means throughout the whole country, he killed every child two years old and under. Mm -hmm. So from an infant to two years, that's, he wiped out whole generations of children. Mm -hmm. Okay, so according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise, wise men. Then was fulfilled that was what's spoken by, we're, we're now uh, in Matthew 2.17. Then was fulfilled by what was saying by Jeremy the prophet saying, In Rama there is a voice in lamentation and weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children and would not be comforted because they are not. He, he wiped out all the children. 
and 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 really when you when you think about that and he wiped out the generation of jesus mm -hmm. yeah he wiped out jesus generation two years and under right okay but Herod was dead. Behold, an angel of the Lord appeareth in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise and take young child and his mother, and go into the land of Israel, for they are dead which sought the child's life. And he arose and took young child with his mother and came into the land of Israel. But then he heard that Archelaus reigned in Judea in the room of his father, Herod. He was afraid to go thither, not, notwithstanding being warned in a God and dream, he turned aside into the parts of Galilee. And he became, and he came and dwelt in the city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled that was spoken by the prophets, he shall be called the Nazarene, that meaning Jesus. Jesus. Okay, so now we're into Jeremiah 31, 15. Thus saith the Lord, a voice was heard in Ramah, Lamentation and bitter weeping. So, so in Matthew, it actually talks about where it gets the scripture. It gets it from Jeremiah the prophet, right? Mm -hmm. so because this is it was prophesied that Jeremiah. those children would be slaughtered, mm -hmm. right? So in Jeremiah thirty-one fifteen is where we get it. Thus saith the Lord: A voice was heard in Rama, lamentation and bitter weeping. Rachel weeping for her children and refused to be comforted for her children because they were not. But here's the interesting verse. It's not 15 is what we understand that's in Matthew, but in Matthew it doesn't talk about verse 16. Now verse 16 is also prophetic. Thus saith the Lord, refrain thy voice from weeping, thine eyes from tears, for the work shall be rewarded, saith the Lord, and they shall come again from the land of the enemy. Who shall come again? And what work shall be rewarded? Well, what happened? So, Dimit, uh, what, Dimit asked, what is the connection of this, all these verses to the 144,000? So, the connection is, the connection is, Right now, we're starting to understand that all those children that were that were killed, that they came out of every tribe, mm -hmm. okay? Not only Bethlehem, but all over the nation, they were slaughtered on all the coastlands, meaning that there there was there was there were troops that were killing children all over the nation. okay, okay continue. Now, in 3116 of Jeremiah, the Lord is telling Rachel to stop, to stop weeping, weeping because something good's going to come out of this. How, 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 how can slaughtered children, something good come out of it? But he says, refrain thy voice from weeping and thine eyes from tears that the work shall be rewarded, saith the Lord, and they shall come again from the land of the enemy. So what he's saying is those children are going to come back. Mm -hmm. So out of every tribe, there were children that were slaughtered because of Herod's order. And now there's a prophecy after, after those very children were wiped out, there's a prophecy that they're going to come back. Okay. And 3117, and there is hope in thine end. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a prophetic word for the end times, that there's hope that thy children shall come again <laughs> to their own border. Whoa. That's amazing. So wow. what God is saying that is those children, children that were slaughtered during Jesus, the generation of Jesus, they, they died. L later on, Jesus dies on the cross, but all these... Children that are in the generation of Jesus are slaughtered by Herod, who is definitely demonically possessed by the enemy. Okay, nobody can do that kind of horrific thing without being full of demons. Okay, in fact, when he died, he worms ate him. Yeah. So, okay, so, but in 31.17 of Jeremiah, there is hope in thine end, said the Lord, 
that thy children shall come again to their own border. Okay, so that means all those children that were slaughtered are going to come back. Okay. In Revelation 14, 1, And I looked, and lo, the Lamb stood on Mount Zion, and with him 144,000 having his Father's name written in their foreheads. Okay. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters, as the voice of great thunders. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And as they sung, as they sung a new song before the throne, before the four beasts, the elders, and no man can learn that that song, but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. Okay. This is the 144,000 after they come up and they're up in heaven and they're redeemed from the earth. Okay. Okay, so they're redeemed from the earth, but this next verse is a past tense. These are they which were not defiled with women. So, for they are virgins. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, let me ask you, is, is a child a virgin? Oh, sure. Yes, sure. children are virgins. Yeah. Okay. And, and God... These 144,000 are going to be men. They're not going to be women. They're going to be men. Because these are they which are not defiled with women. Meaning they, they didn't get married and they did not sleep with women. Okay? Because they are virgins. So these are men. These are they which follow the Lamb wheresoever he goeth. So this is Revelation 14.4. These are they which are not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb wherever soever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto God and the Lamb. And who, who was the first fruit? Jesus was the first fruit. Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay. When he died and went into Sheol which is two separate compartments. One is Abraham's bosom and the other is hell. When he went down into Abraham's bosom, he went down there and he brought people out with him and some came out and they were resurrected and they walked around the city of Jerusalem. It's, you know, it's in the New Testament, it's recorded mm -hmm. that there were people that were resurrected Okay, they came back to life just like Jesus did. And this was the group of the first fruits. But there was also people, they, they did not come back to life in Jerusalem and Israel, but they went up to be with the Father. They were redeemed, okay? They, they were the first fruits, okay? So, after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Now, the, the four angels, the four corners, the four winds is very important because that's going to that's come, gonna come into play later on. Okay? So, let's go into uh, Revelation 7-2. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels and to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and they were sealed in 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Okay. So that's mm -hmm. very interesting. It says the children of the tribes of Israel. The children. tribes of the children of Israel. Oh, the tribes of the children. Okay. Of the tribe of Judah was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Reuben was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Asher were sealed 12,000. Mm -hmm. So it goes on and on. It, it describes all the tribes. And there's one tribe that's left out, though. It's the tribe of Dan. Yeah, it's nowhere the, to be found. The tribe of Dan is gone. Now, the tribe of Dan, now in place of Dan is Manasseh, which is one of Joseph's, Joseph's son. sons. And that replaces now the tribe of Dan. 
So, but when we go into Ezekiel, okay, when we go into Ezekiel 37, it talks about the dry bones. Mm -hmm. And I said before, it's it, important to remember the four winds. Well, what happens in Ezekiel? In Ezekiel, it says, caused me to pass by the roundabout and behold there was very many in an open valley and lo they were very dry what were very dry bones yes. and he said unto me son of man can these bones live and i answered lord god only you know and again he said prophesy on these bones and say you dry bones hear the word of the lord and thus the lord of god said these bones behold i will cause breath to enter you and you shall live. And so I will lay sinews upon you and I will bring flesh upon you and I will cover you with skin and I will breathe in you and you shall live. You shall know that I am Lord. And so I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise and there was a shaking and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And I beheld into the sinews and the flesh came up upon them and skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then he said unto me, prophesy the wind, prophesy son of man and go to the wind. Thus saith the Lord, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. And here we go, here's the part I was saying earlier. Here's the four winds that are in Revelation, and they are connected with the 144,000 that they should not do anything until the the 140 the 12 tribes have been sealed in their forehead mm -hmm. okay so the four winds are given the power of life and death so in life they breathe the life back into the dry bones which is all of Israel, right? Okay. In 3710, it says, and it's it's an exceeding great army. And he said, son of man, these are the whole house of Israel. There we go. They are dried and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Well, whose hope was lost before? It was it was the, the seed of Rachel. It was the, all the different parts of Israel where all the children, a whole generation of children were wiped out. Okay. It's kind of really unique, unique um, um, knowledge about this 144,000 because mm -hmm. even me I went to Bible school, but I never, I never see this about the children of, uh, those children that are killed during Herod's time. Yeah. It's just like nobody's digging about that. About the yeah, children. we, you know, it's such a sad thing. And, and really, what we all learned was that Jesus was born and Herod was this evil king and he wanted to kill Jesus and he killed some babies in Bethlehem. But I never saw the part where it talked about and all the coastlands. That means in all of Israel, along the coastlands, babies in those cities, no children. they were wiped out. So Jesus and Jesus in his generation, his generation was cut, was, off. Was cut off. Yeah, even him was, uh, yeah. So, and this, this goes along with the dry bones. And a lot of people will use this symbolically for the, for Israel, Israel when it was wiped out during then, World War II and then, then they when, when they came back as a nation. But this is prophetically something that will actually happen. Mm -hmm. Just like the two witnesses are going to be probably Elijah and Moses. Most say that it's Elijah and Moses. Okay, and they're going to come back and they're going to have the power of fire that if anyone comes against them, the fire will shoot out of their mouth and devour them. Okay, there's going to be a, a there's going to be twelve tribes of Israel. That's hundred and forty-four thousand. Okay, 
and where do they come from? If you look at the at the Israel today, it's there's Jews, but if you ask them from what tribe they're from, they don't know. They don't know. Maybe some of them know, but a lot of them don't. And and if you ask Christians where are all the tribes, they'll say we don't know where they are. That's why they, there's a group that they will include themselves. We are yep. the lost tribe. So this is why the enemy really digs into this. This is a this is a doctrine of demons that the enemy will use. He'll say, "Oh no, you know, uh, it's the church. The church is the the church is the twelve tribes now." Or it's just symbolic. It's just symbolic. It doesn't mean twelve tribes. Uh, it doesn't mean they have to be virgins. It doesn't mean they have to be men. It doesn't mean they don't have to have any guile in their mouth. It, and all these things, and we just we just pick apart the scriptures, and it's not true because actually, what God says in His Word, it does matter, and that. He has prophets that prophesy things that come true. The same prophet, Jeremiah, who prophesied, okay, that that there would be weeping in Rama. Yeah. Okay. The next verse he says that that God that you don't have to weep. Stop your weeping because I'm gonna bring these children back. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring them back into the land. So the, those children that have been slaughtered, they will come alive? They will. So, and there's a lot of stuff that we just don't know. Now, when you go up into heaven, do you get older? Um, I don't know. I, I've heard a lot of there. people... We're I, not going there yet. I, I've, heard, I've heard a lot of people say, well, the, the oldest people that we saw when we were 30. up there was like 30, 33, right around the age of Jesus. Yeah. But we don't know. But what I do know is that it's God, a mystery. it is a mystery. There are lots of mysteries. But there is scripture right here that says that God is going to bring these children back that were slaughtered. And they're in the end times, he's going to bring them back. Well, what, what does that fit? That fits the pattern of the 144,000. Yeah, there are lots of, you know teachings about 144,000s. Yeah. But and you have to you have to have the word and the word you use the word here a little bit, there a little bit and and you you use the word to open up the word. Okay? You can't just you can't speculate without using the word. All right. That's all verse 12. So verse 12. Ezekiel Ezekiel, therefore prophesy and say unto them, the Lord God, behold, O my people, I will open up your graves and cause you to come out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord. And when I have brought, I have opened up your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves, and I shall put my spirit in you. Okay, this goes right along with the 144,000 are going to be redeemed by God. Their spirit, God's spirit is going to be in them. Okay? And you shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. Okay? And then shall you know that I am Lord. I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it. Okay, so that one there. Yeah. Um, uh they will the the hundred forty four thousand. Yeah. If they are the one, if those are the children that's been cut off, and God will just like Jesus bring was them cut to off. Life, yep. What about all this? Um, um, what do you call it? The they said about the those uh the Jews right now, the living one. Well, right let now. me ask you a question. Are are there? Are there 12,000 of each tribe in Israel right now? I don't know if they know that. They are started. there 12,000 that are virgins no. from each tribe? Are yeah. there 12,000 without guile in their mouth? There's or, none. So these these are peop Only these are a special group of people that God has separated for for an end time 
uh, for in in time prophetic time, and I believe that they are they are the children who were cut off. They were two and one year old or infants. They were cut off at the time when Herod was trying to find Jesus and slaughter him, mm -hmm. and it was meant for bad. But God, God always uses everything for good. He's going to do a, an amazing, miraculous turnaround, and he's going to use these children. He's going to bring them back into the land. They are they are with God right now, but in a certain time, that they are going to come back and their bones are going to come back together. Their sinew is going to come back together. Their skin is going to come back together. And that four winds and revelations is going to breathe in to those bones. And the whole house of Israel, 12,000 from each tribe will rise up and it will be 144,000. And they will have the DNA of the tribe of Judah. They will have the DNA of the tribe of Reuben. They will have the DNA of the tribe of Joseph. They will be actual 12 tribes of Israel. It's mm -hmm. going to be an amazing miracle, but there's nothing impossible with God. Yeah. It's so this is a lot of people want to symbolize. They want to say everything is symbols and it doesn't really mean that. But then, then everything, then all these prophecies come true. The very prophecy that Jeremiah said that, that Rachel would lose her children came true. And that the very next prophecy say they're going to come back. Yeah. So we have, if the first one came true, the second one's going to come true. So this teaching of the 144,000, it's going to be new to a lot of people. And a lot of people will think, I've never heard this before. But what I would say is I would go in and check all the scriptures. And the thing, the thing, you really don't need me to teach you. The Holy Spirit is our teacher. Mm -hmm. So all I'm giving you is the scriptures. This is something I was taught. And then today I taught Indai. She was going, oh, that's really interesting. Yeah, now, really now interesting. When, when you talk about it, when you talk about the scriptures and you talk about the teaching, the Holy Spirit will lead you. You don't need me to lead you. The Holy Spirit is here to lead you. So, And the Holy Spirit will lead you into all truth. So read the scriptures and, and just, you know, study it. And uh, I found that this is it's it's not dogma for me but i really believe that this it's, is where the 144,000 yeah, are going to come from it's kind of clear you, you you can't see it any other way i mean looking at israel they're i don't see yeah. how they're in any condition to bring 12,000 yeah, they, they don't even, they even know all the where the tribes are yeah and so that's why we're kind of confused yeah, they said that they or this twelve uh, hundred forty four thousand are from uh, you know the Israelites now. No, how yeah. it gonna happen? We, They're not even believing Jesus, so, and then that's why we we said or the, the church we said, yeah, I think we're the I think we're the hundred forty four thousand. Why not? So, you know, let's be the hundred forty four thousand. But, but, but let's I actually so. let's go by scripture, which is more sound. All of us were taught to. Uh, dig into the scripture and let the scripture speak for itself. Yeah. Okay. So we know that Jehovah Witnesses are not the 144,000. That is Body a claim. that is a false religious system. Okay. And uh, we know that the church, the redeemed church, right now, we are not we are not Jewish. No, we are not. We, we're not from any of the tribes. Okay, even if you have a little bit of Jewish blood or whatever, uh, these, these are people that in their DNA, they are from the tribe of Benjamin. They are from the tribe of Reuben. That you could buy their blood. They are the tribes. Okay, they are the real tribes. Okay, and 
they they are virgins. They said they're not defiled by women, which means that they're also their men. They're, it's if you're a woman, you are not part of the hundred and forty four thousand. It's only men, and and it's twelve the women <laughs> and twelve. Well, I lo <laughs> we love women, but in this case, there's no women in the army of the hundred and forty four thousand. You can't be defiled. Uh, not be defiled by a woman if you're another woman. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so so the other thing is that they are redeemed. Now, how did these children get redeemed? Well, Jesus went after he was crucified. He went down into Abraham's bosom, yeah. and they were redeemed. Everyone, they were given a chance to hear Christ Himself, and. And they were redeemed and they went up to be with the Father. Yeah. Okay. Now their bodies are still down here. Okay. And they, they're the first fruits and they follow the Lamb wherever He goes. Okay. In uh, Jeremiah uh, 31 17, these are the, the verses that really speak to me. Okay. And there is hope in thine. End, saith the Lord, that thy children shall come again to their own border. So these children that Jeremiah is talking about are the children that were wiped out by Herod. So they're going to come again to their land of Israel. So there you go. There's one scripture. That's a prophetic word. Let's go to Ezekiel uh, 37.9. Okay, in 37.9, we just noticed something we didn't notice before. Okay. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man. This is Ezekiel, the prophet. Say to the wind, thus saith the Lord, God, come from the four winds. Okay, that's in Revelations, the four winds. Mm -hmm. O breath, breathe upon the slain. Slain. They were slain. Wow. Those children were slain. Yeah. Listen to that. Breathe mean. upon these slain that they may live. live. That means they were killed. They were slaughtered. Yeah. So it it might it's not be the one that you know usually the Ezekiel, uh, the dry bones is from the the Israelites that they'll come back to their land. But that is really clear that it speaks about those children. So, and not only that, it gives some other clues. It says that it's an exceedingly great army. Well, I would say the 144,000 is going to be the army of the Lord. Okay? Mm -hmm. And it says, in 37.11, it says it's the whole house of Israel. Whole okay? Of Israel. And this is a prophecy that's going to come true in the end times. Also in, uh, where was it in? Um, in Jeremiah 31 17 in thine end saith the Lord mm -hmm. so once again it's placing the time of the arrival of the children to come back in the end when is the end it's the tribulation <laughs> oh, wow. so uh, uh, you know I got goosebumps all over me uh, God 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 is going to have his way. Mm -hmm. And God can take the most wicked, evil situation and he can tell Rachel, don't weep. Yeah. Don't weep. There's You don't have to weep because all these children that the enemy slaughtered, I'm going to take them up. They're, they're going to be redeemed. They're going to come up with me up into heaven and they're going to go wherever the lamb goes the lamb because they've been redeemed by the lamb and in the end days that they're going to come back to their land and they're going to be the whole house of Israel the 12 yeah. tribes and they're going to go out and do whatever the Lord tells them to do and Amen. they're going to be sealed with the father's name mm -hmm. okay on their um, forehead yeah and the, the antichrist and his uh, the demons can't touch them. <laughs> it's so awesome. Yeah. It's really, it's a real, it's a beautiful story of redemption from the wicked one 
Yeah. It's redemption from that murderous thing he did. Yeah. It's redemption from sin. And not only that, it's victory in the future of them coming back and 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 going out and blessing the people of Israel. Mm -hmm. It's it's really an awesome story. So Praise God. Praise God. So we hope you understand and enjoy it and we yeah. pray that this words that god gave to us yeah. just we can, search it out yeah we can we can share it and yes. it might be strong you know we understand it that it is for me i'm a pastor and for me it's strong but yeah. when i when i hear about that so, oh oh gosh it's really it's really uh you know it's a you can just connect the the verses in there the dots yes. Yes. <laughs> you yes. know when you play connect the dots you can connect the dots on well, that. you just have to ask yourself the 144,000 has to come from somewhere. Yeah. So where is it coming from? And if the children the, are supposed to come back into yeah. the land, who are they? And then if we will they say they are the 144,000. Yeah, and if we will 000. say if they are they are in the in the Jew right now that lives in Israel, how how come it, it will be them? They're yeah. not didn't even know Jesus did. There's very yeah. few Mesnic Jews. Yeah. yeah. There's very few. So it's kinda you know I think these people have been clear. separated for a special time in the tribulation to come back and to be sealed and to do the works of God during one of the worst times in, in human history. It will be it will be horrible and they will they will have the power of God, they will be sealed and they will do whatever the lamb tells them to do. Mm -hmm. It's it's going to be awesome. Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. So we might have another, what do you call it, sequence. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. But, but, but I'm enjoying it. I hope you enjoy. Yeah, I, I love God's word. Yeah. And, and, and when, when we find out something new, it's like a treasure. Yeah. It's, it's like, like, like opening oh, a treasure. Oh, this is so cool. This is yeah. Because it's another God. it's another piece of revelation of yeah. God's mystery that opens up to us, and uh, it is really true in you know in the in the parable of Jesus about the uh, is it a farmer that you know finds some gold oh or a pearl or, yeah pearl and they they enjoy or a coin they, yeah they and then they go out and they buy the whole yeah field. yeah <laughs> yeah so so the word of God is like a, a gold. gold and silver and when you find it there's joy amen. amen amen so before we end thank you so much we thank you so much and and, and uh right after uh there'll be a song called worship the lord oh, oh yeah it'll, song. it'll be at the last part and do you want to pray yeah we should pray okay let, let's pray for everyone we'll just pray for thank you lord we just pray for god to bless everyone that's listening Oh, we pray that this teaching is a blessing, that it will open up and it will give you a hunger for the Word of God, for the revelation of God. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, God, for your Word. It's holy, it's pure, Lord. We thank you, Hallelujah, Lord, that Jesus. it'll be a blessing to everyone, Lord. And just bless everyone that hears and thank watches you, in Jesus' name. Amen. So the song is called Worship the Lord in Unity. We, and before we end, thank you and oh, please subscribe. Subscribe, thumbs up, and, and uh, if you want, share. And if you want to ask or you, you just uh, write some comments. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you have any questions on the scriptures or the teaching or anything, uh, write a comment. If you need a prayer, write a comment. Um, so we, we look forward to hearing from you. So God bless you all. And bye. I love you. Bye. <laughs> so this song is called Worship the Lord in Unity. Enjoy. If we worship the Lord in unity, he will command His blessings, and in all of your ways acknowledge Him. He will direct your path. Worship Jesus, Savior. Worship Jesus. Savior. If we worship the Lord in unity, 
He will command the blessings. And in all of your ways, acknowledge Him. He will direct your path. Worship Jesus. Savior. Worship Jesus. Savior. Worship Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen.